Hello, the full premium beta is finally out and I'm happy to show you a docking procedure. I've been trying it a couple of time yes, times yesterday and it's not that easy. <laughs> um, partly because the texts are hard to read when using the Oculus Rift, the Redmi Kit 1. The resolution isn't really sufficient for text. So um, I had a bit of trouble figuring out how to dock. But I think I've got the hang of it now and I would like to show it to you. Some of the major changes from the, um, the, the combat build to the full premium beta build is one thing, there are these cool pop-up uh, information screens that I can easily access just by looking at them. This is really cool and I'm using one of those coolie heads to switch to the tabs. This works really nice, I really like that. Just hard to read, but I guess once the DK2 comes out, this will be um, no problem at all. It is readable, just incredibly hard. I can read this is landing gear, it says deploy. And uh, by pulling the trigger, I can switch between retracted and deployed. The rest is pretty hard. That's turret weapon mode. Flight assist, yeah, um, just an example how hard it is to read. It is doable, but it's uh, not that easy. On the other side, I've got a contact screen and a galaxy map. Here are the contacts. And I'm going to ring the station in a moment for the docking procedure. Um, the just going to recenter. I've got a bit of drift or a lot of drift now. I didn't have that much drift with the combat build, so no idea what happened here. But I'm getting a slight drift throughout the game. Another nice addition is the body. You can finally see myself in game, and I've tried to make the uh, put the setup from my joystick and, and, and throttle as close to the game as possible, so it really feels uh, very immersive. And I've even got the pedals working from my Logitech Driving Force GT wheel. I'm not powering the wheel itself for force feedback, I don't need that, I just need the pedals to your right and left. This is actually pretty cool. This didn't work in the, in the combat build as well, so this works now, and I love it. Okay, let's head for docking. Just look over there and ring the station, you press docking. I now get a docking information screen and here I can hardly or barely make out the, the digits for the landing pad. I think it's a 2 and it might be an 8. It's really that hard to read. Let's line up properly. I'm just using my big toes for the uh, cost corrections in your. I think it says 28. I'm not entirely sure about that. There's one. There's 16. I can easily read 16. 44 on the back. And there's 28. Okay, so here we go. The landing gear is retracted. I checked it. Uh, the landing gear is deployed. Nicely. It's harder than it looks when you're doing it the first time. But I really like it. It's much like a, a, a mini game. Concentration intensifies and we are docked. This is really cool, I really like that. It's very tricky when, when you're trying it the first time and I had quite a bit of trouble docking. I was killed I guess two times or three times because I ran out of time 
and now I guess I've pretty much got the hang of it. The station itself is fabulous, really fabulous. Looking up and seeing the other docking places, and it's a great place to be. Just like that, you look around the screens, you feel really inside the ship, and with uh, a setup of um, joystick and throttle, this is perfect. This is just perfect. So cool. I'm going to enter the hangar, as you can see this animation. This is so nice. <laughs> Okay, that might be some kind of glitch, what happened now? Well, this doesn't look right. <laughs> I should be docked now, inside this, this station, and I'm somewhere else, no idea. Okay, I'm going to launch. Let's get out of this again. It looks like the station just spit me out somewhere. I'm able to navigate. No, no engines. This is weird. <laughs> Where am I? Help. There's still rotation. <laughs> okay, okay, these are just minor glitches. <laughs> this is fun. So, no idea, can't do anything. Just see other ships. Okay, let's just gloss over that. <laughs> um, this shouldn't diminish the, the, the whole experience I just had here. Um, I guess these, these small glitches will be ironed out soon. It appears that I'm still in the station. I'm kinda docked, but I'm not seeing the station. Great backdrop, by the way. <laughs> this is really nice. Okay, um, sorry for that. No idea what happened. Um, but except for that, which, which wasn't planned, this is by far the best experience I've ever had. Oh, I'm not back in the station. What just happened? That this is what I wanted to show you. No idea what what happened earlier on. Okay, guess I. Oops. I'm going to get out of the station. <laughs> this is so cool. This is so cool. You really have to see that. <laughs> this is awesome. I've seen quite a lot of games with the Rift now, but this is something else entirely. It's so cool. Alright, <laughs> enough jibber jabber. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, Thrustmaster Water Cutters, Throttle and Stick, no target GUI in use now. I'm using each device on its own. Logitech Driving First GT, um, only using the pedals for your controls and the Rift to make it spectacular. Alright, thank you for watching. Bye.